48% battery on that, but I've got the other two batteries there. So later the camera, Perry. Good day, how you going, guys? Now you know how you say I should be plugging the shop and everything. It's really hard to act. I just film conversations. Yeah, well, so there you go. Show me what I got to do. Our conversation. Plug the shop. Yeah, plug the shop. Until <laughs> so we get another stunned acting. Go on, start again. Load it up like a mule. <laughs> nah, you can advertise this shop. <laughs> Uh, through the hole in the fence. Okay, Over there, see next to the fence. You know, I've never cut a fence in my life. Like every one of these places I go into, it's already broken into. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I jump the fence if I have to. <laughs> I don't cut them. Let's watch nails here. <laughs> Listen to that wind up there. And the water's all green. The oyster's on the edge of being chewed on. So, as bad as the weather looks, the conditions are pretty good. And we're trying to work our way up to the point here, or we're working our way up to the point. One, to meet the fish, and two, it's probably the only legal spot that we can fish in their whole area. Looks good here, doesn't it, Pez? I oh, know. Vincent! You can see here, there's that much shell grit, Pez. This place, they've been in here chewing all through all this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're feeding here. Yeah, it's just shell grit everywhere. I just got a crack and hit, then one whack, and turn around and Perry's rod's been over already. Bait one, Lou or nil. He's fighting hard. Was that your brim rod or your deer rod? Oh, it's your brim rod. See if he's got, if it's fighting, he might have mates follow in. I'll get out there while I watch you. So that's your first drop. Yep. <laughs> It's going hard. Listen to that drag. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah. Big winner brim. Yes, my friend, yes. Well, it could be Trevor. Oh. He's, he's running a bit like a brim. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, there he is. Nice big brim. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a cracker. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long. It's right down his throat, too. Oh no, it's just in the mouth. So just on a bit of Hawkesbury squid? No! Prawn. Would you prawn? Hawkesbury prawn? There's one. Nice. Why oh, are you under that drag? Think I got my whiting, Perry. That one? Yeah, mate. Nah, a little brim. Oh, we'll keep moving along. Yeah, a little one. Oh, just keep moving along here. It goes so you can see the sand up there. I'll work along here till I hit sand. I see I'm standing on sand now. This is sand and pippies more than mud and muscle. Just going to see if there's any whiting about here. This tide's just about to turn now, so. Yep, whack. This him. And again. Oh, he split me. Yes, they are there. Oh, have I got a little tiny. Oh, I've got a little fish on. <laughs> oh, dropped him. The tiniest little whiting you could ever imagine. They're there. Let's let this go through. It's a little shell breaker right on the edge. That's what they're sitting on. I'm just standing on a, a mountain of shell grit all the way through. So you can just see that as this tide comes in, they're feeding here. 
all the way out. And the ferry wash must be turning the sand over and they're just digging these shells up. I know where they will be soon. Oh, whack. Is he on still? Oh, that was bad fishing by me. I was just shaking in. I didn't realise I already had one on. Get in there and get out again. Bad fishing now. So I found my whiting. Oh, they could be a little brim too. So far that's all I've sort of picked up across here. But all that shell grit just tells me there's fish here, right now, feeding. Change lures, I think. Better pro I'm going to go to a worm. They're hitting the blade, but they're not chasing. <clears throat> See, like that. Shaking these little fish onto the blade, so they're around. It's just not the big girls. The big girls are still on the point. Perry's getting a few. These are why we should be targeting Jew, though, when you get little fish like this. Another one onto the blade. Still all small. This one feels more flathead like. Might have jagged him sideways or something because he's not. Oh, now he wants to run. I might have got my widen. You just see the shell grit around here. You just know bottom of the tide. They haven't fed all day. You know that they're going to come up. What have we got? Whiting, yeah? I think so, yep. There he is. Oh no. I didn't want you. It's a nice little brim. He'll do. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock you. I just was wanting my whitey. Anyway, it's a legal brim, so. I'll catch up with Perry. Come here, buddy. I've only got two hooks left on this blade. They've been weird by it. Two points, I should say. Come on. This a blade. It's one of the Peter Cookies. The reason I put it on is because it matched my rod. Like the colour. There you go, mate. Same thing, just bouncing across these. I'm getting a lot of bites now, like little tiny fish, one after the other. It's not really worth running the camera for them, but they're just, yeah, look at that. That is a herring. For a livey to put on a dew line out here, but uh, it's very strip laws and what you can and can't use. You can do just straight through his nose. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tide's running in now, so you might want to. Yeah. All right, due due o'clock. First little hawksfish quid I just put on. Just set it there on the edge. Boom! Throw away brim. Only a little one, but we're using these fish as indicators to see what's coming through. The bigger one should be coming in soon. I just put one of these tiny little squid on, and straight away it was just hammer time. It's hammer time. Yeah, let's see. Got it. Show you like a lure. And these little tiny ones piss off. A little bit of fun. About 
tide should be just starting to lift up now, so we're about half an hour off. Oh, every rock looks the same. Where'd I put my squid? Too spit out there. The snapper for brim. Oh, I missed mine. Look pink then for a second. It is, it's red. Is that just the sight like the glare? Just gonna run him straight up the hook. Oh, what's that? That felt better. Grab my tails. Again. Oh, I got my tail that time, so I'll go back out. Down through, getting them in about a foot of water. Hey, hey, got my whiting, finally got my whiting. Nice Parramatta whiting, not real big. switch to the worm because the tide's starting to lift up now and that ferry's washing all this stuff. It's the water police. See you later little buddy. Go on. There you go. Waiting. Yeah. It's legal for us to fish this little point. Unfortunately, everything around the point is private. Well, it's not as public land that they've made private. That's why the police had no issue with us. You're getting way too many tail biters with this gulp worm, so I'll have to change again. What, well, did you get a due run? Uh, was it? Yeah, I reckon it was a Due? I had a whole squid on. Why? I it'll be baited. Oh yeah, Perry's onto a good one. <laughs> He's going off its head. Got to apologise before I even get there with Perry's language, but he gets really excited. Really excited. What was that, mate? I'll just do the bip and... He's the most excited fisherman I've ever met. What's that, buddy? You got that Jew that we're after. Do you want me to wind that up a rod right in or you'll be right? Uh, no, I reckon it's gone past it. Oh yeah, you're on a Jew. Oh, I think I'll, I'll wind it in, eh? Oh, no, it shouldn't be right. It's gone in. It won't matter, it'll just come in and entangle anyway if you do. That's that's the Jew we wanted. What bait were you running then? Squid? Squid. Oh, it should be squid. It just took off. The second run was huge. Yeah, that's what we want. Just watch this pole here. Worst come, I will wind that up line in, Perry, because worst comes to worst, I want you working down the bank. Oh, no, it should be right. I'm worried about that pole, because he'll do a second I run. The pole? So, yeah, so, so I was saying, you got to go that way. Actually, he's on the other side of the pole now. Come across. Come this way now. Keep going right, mate. 
The only thing you can get you on is that pole. You see how we've got a lot of sharp drop off here? Yeah. Look at the smile on your face. Oh, it's sensational. Is, Perry. Your, is, your, Perry. is your line in? Yeah, I'll go get mine. I promised Perry all week that I'd take him down here and check, get him a Jew, Parramatta Jew. So we've just been playing around with a little bait fish. Like, we've been playing around with... Yeah, that's, that's your Parra Jew, man. So I haven't caught his line. Oh. And so the tide's just turned from bottom to high and this is like the highway they just come in here they go down that way and they come here and go down that way come out here on the rock perry because there's oh, there's a couple of nasties just here and i mean this this bite goes all winter right through to august come out more on the rock mate. there's a couple of just spikes and things out there that's a little bit about land base Got that that uh, Jew head shake run. Now if he goes another 50 yards that way, he's illegal. <laughs> it's, a, it's illegal fish. Yeah, I think you've I think you've just about wrecked him now. That's the thing I notice about Jews is it. Oh, yeah, the See the boil? Yeah. It's just a patience thing, oh, Perry. He'll there just, yeah, there. I know I can see him. There it is there. But he'll just pop up. He'll pop up right on the edge of the bank. Oh. Well, there you go. All we've got to do is land it. Oh. That's a nice one. Get about that. 90 centimetres. You're look, kidding. Look at the big coke boat watching. Oh, look at the wave he's bringing in. Get ready. Look at that. I'll grab the fish for you. You just got to watch this waves coming. That, that big boat there's just maybe let him go out again. Just just hold him up high. Give his head up. See it coming in. Oh, look at that. Yeah, wave coming, wave coming. Uh, did I lose him there? I got him. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Get her up here. There you go. Perry's due again every time we've gone out to get our target species together we've smashed it smile mate i want to see that smile you had when you were hooking it where the plan comes together you never believe for one minute that we we're going to get that fish did you <laughs> That's why I love taking people down to Parramatta because you come down here and you think, I won't get those big fish. There's no fish here. 